to another episode of The Good Greek. And today, I'd like to show you how to make yemesta, or stuffed peppers. It's a real staple in a lot of Greek homes, and for me, it really reminds me of home. You can stuff the peppers with anything, but traditionally, you'll put rice, either on its own, and with the other ingredients I'm going to go with, or rice and mincemeat. I'm also going to do a vegetarian version, just to show you how versatile it is. And I'm going to use mushrooms, because that's a really good replacement for me. Partly because it's savoury, it's meaty, but it's also got a lot of protein, so it's a good substitute. So, I've got some virgin olive oil here, which I'm going to use to fry down two small onions and three cloves of garlic. But I'm going to split what's in these bowls between the mushrooms and the meat. I'm going to add some pepper, but I'm not going to add any salt, because the fat has got plenty. Once that's cooked, I'm going to put them in two small bowls. I'm going to add parsley, tomato juice or passata, and some tomato puree. I'm then going to cook this rice. I'm going to show you a really good way to cook the rice. And then I'm going to mix it all together with the feta and stuff it into these peppers. And I'll show you a good way to cut the peppers so it's easy to stuff and it all stays together. So in here, I've got the meat and the onions. And you could add a little bit of white wine to this, um, or red wine to the meat, it's up to you. Either one will work. Um, sometimes I do it just to add a richer flavour. The mushrooms don't take very long, the mincemeat takes a little bit longer. So, you can do them like that, or you can cook them even more, it's up to you. It's quite important with this dish that you keep in some of the moisture, because you, we're going to be roasting it in the oven and that can take out a lot of the, the juice and then it's not quite so good. So we really need to make sure that um, if it's drying out, we add some liquid. That's why we use the tomato puree when we stuff it. But I'll show you all that in a moment. I've got my meat cooked and my mushrooms. Now I'm gonna cook the rice. So the best way to cook rice is like this. One cup of rice, that's about 200 grams, with the same amount of water twice. We're going to put that on a high heat and bring it to the boil quite quickly. And we're only going to stir this once. That's very important. Otherwise, it becomes really starchy, it will stick and it will burn. Now, while the rice is cooking, I'm going to show you how to cut the peppers so that you can keep the tops because we need them for lids so we can keep the moisture in. So the best way to do that is to cut them at an angle right near the green bit and we're just going to cut all the way around and take the tops off okay what we need to do is clear out all of this because the seeds are toxic so we don't want to eat any of those and then cut that bit off nice and straight just get those seeds off and there we should have a perfect top my rice is cooked, so I'm going to take half of it, put it in here, and the other half in here, and then I'm going to grab my mincemeat, I'm going to add some pepper in there. It's always good to add pepper after you've cooked it, just so that it's got time to soak into the meat. Also, heat dissipates the peppery taste. So if you put it in last, you'll get more of that peppery flavour. Now, I don't need all of this meat. If I was just doing one dish, I would have all this rice and all of this mincemeat. But I'm just going to use half, and then I'm going to use the other half for another dish. I'm probably going to take quite a lot of these mushrooms, because you can see it's that's about the same amount as the meat, so that's probably about right. Then we're going to mix that all together. Okay, and then I'm going to add half of this tomato puree. So again, if this is just one meat or one vegetarian, it would be that whole cup. And then the other half into that. I've got a big bunch of parsley, about a big handful, and I'm going to halve that again. And finally, half the feta in each of the pots. So, I forgot to add a bit of pepper to the mushroom, so I'm just going to add that now. And then I'm going to mix that all together. Okay, so now I'm ready to stuff my peppers. To really make sure that you've got all the air out there. 
So, we've stuffed the peppers, so we've got two vegetarian and two meat, and there's just one more step we have to do. There's a tiny bit of oil left in my pot, so I'm just going to take that, put it on a brush, I'm just going to brush the outside. Now we're going to put the peppers in the oven, and I'm going to put them in there for about 35 to 45 minutes. We just want to check them every now and again at 190, 200 degrees centigrade, it depends. And that's it. Okay, so it's been in there about 40 minutes. We're gonna take it out now. And there we go. That's how to cook your mister. Enjoy.